Hey Capricorn, I hope you all are doing well. This is going to be your general reading for the next 50 days. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below. I do have personals open. Um, details are down in the description box, like I said. Let's go ahead and get started here, Capricorn. Hmm. Looks like you have a strategic plan put in place for something here. It's not really clear what uh, this is surrounding, but two of wands, a plan, okay? Uh, you're going to put that into action. Like, you're very organized at this time with something here, Capricorn, but you have the high priestess. Something unexpected comes up, so let's see. Let's see what this is about. It could be a person with that king of pentacles, but we'll see. What's going on with the two of wands here for Capricorn? The world. Okay, we have fixed energy. Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. He's got the world in his hands in that two of wands, too, so... Yeah, these are obviously big plans that you have here. Ten of Cups, your own personal wish fulfillment. Like, this is what I want. This is how I'm going to get it. This is how long it's going to take me to get to it. Like, these are the steps that I will take. That's that's the energy that I feel you in here in the next 50 days. Or even right now, you know. You're feeling really positive, feeling really determined to get this Ten of Cups, okay. Then you have the King of Pentacles. So, let's look at what that is. What's going on with the King of Pentacles here for Capricorn in the next 50 days? This could involve family for some of you here. It might involve, like, I want a family, like, you know, this is how I'm going to find that person to have that with. It could be, you know, I want a new home, right? The world is showing up here, like, this is how I'm going to go about getting that. Five of Wands showing up under the King of Pentacles. Your plan gets messed up for whatever reason here. You have the Devil, you have the Five of Wands, your passion's up against one another. Something new that you desire comes along. Let's see. Let's look back at that Two of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Hmm. You start to plant these seeds and then things quickly unravel. They quickly change. There's a conflict. What's going on? The Magician, Virgo and Gemini energy. You get more than what you wish for is kind of the energy that I feel here. The devil could represent like excess of something. It doesn't necessarily have to be toxic. Um, you know, I just feel as if the five of wands is just conflict within your plan and that king of pentacles, you know, it represents something steady, reliable. Like that's where I feel your plan is. Okay. It's it lies within that King of Pentacles energy, basically. And the Five of Wands is the conflict. It's the fork in the road, which the fork in the road is the Six of Pentacles, where you plant those seeds. So, you know, you start a whole new path, a whole new journey here. And um, I feel like you could meet someone, basically, is what I'm trying to spit out here. It's like you want love, but you wanted it at this point. You wanted to be at this point before you had it, but here it is. Here it is. Queen of Wands, whether male or female. Looks like it could be an Aries, uh, Virgo, Gemini, Pisces. But yeah, you, you had this big plan. Some of you, it's almost like you had this type in your head. If this is love, you had this type in your head. Like you had the specific type of person, how they would look, you know, what kind of work they would do, how old they would be, you know. And I feel like you have this person come along and it's like, wow, I actually want this way more. And I, you know, who would have thought, right? Who would have thunk it, Capricorn? Um, but this person, they're very attractive. Um, I feel like they could be very much into fitness, I feel like they could be very much into fitness, and it's not that you envision, like, you know, somebody who was unhealthy or, you know, unattractive or anything of that nature. That's not what I'm saying, but I feel like their interests are different, um, different from yours, okay? I feel like their interests are different from yours, and I feel like their creative passions are different from yours, you know? Um, maybe you do a lot of cardio. Maybe this person, they don't, they don't like cardio, you know? It could be something like that. Uh, they do something else. They work out in some other way, or they have some kind of diet that they follow. Uh, I don't know. You have some differences, though. I'll say that. What's, what's going on with that high priestess? Because this is the unexpected. Let's look at it. What's going on with the high priestess? It's, it doesn't necessarily represent the unexpected. It's just like, you know, kind of what's behind the veil, basically. The Empress, the Six of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Oh my goodness, okay? It could be a Taurus, a Libra, uh, a Pisces, the Lovers, Gemini Energy. Are you guys kidding me? This person, wow. I mean, there's so much potential to be had here. Um, we got Virgo energy with the uh, Eight of Pentacles as well, but this person is willing to commit, okay? They're willing to commit. Um, Six of Wands showing up here. This could actually lead to marriage for some of you here, Capricorn. And maybe marriage isn't something you wanted. Maybe you had a connection in mind, but marriage wasn't in the cards, and now you find yourself changing your mind now that you see this person. You're like, you know, not necessarily now that you see them. It's not like love at first sight, but, you know, it is like you, you feel a strong attraction to them, you know, and you may find yourself... 
you may find yourself denying this at first with that high priestess energy. You may be like, no, you know, that's not true. Like, I feel like you're not going to believe the attraction that you have to this person. For some of you, you could meet this person through a sibling, okay, um, or through their sibling. So uh, that could be a clue for some of you. If that's not the case, it may be someone who get who gets hired on at work or, you know, maybe you get hired on at their job here. But uh, lots of fertile energy, lots of room for growth here, Capricorn. I just see your plans kind of changing and shifting. But it, honestly, it's for the better, so don't let it scare you, okay? Don't let it scare you. That's what I'm saying for you, Capricorn. I do hope it was helpful. I have personals open. Details are in the description box, like I said. But if this is where we part, thank you all for watching this far. I really appreciate you, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.